In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this, while also saving you hours of print time by minimizing the purge waste material of your Bamboo Lab AMS. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a bonus tip to even further decrease your waste. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description below the like button, and it will take you to this AMS purge calibration model. And then just go ahead and click on the first print profile here and then open this model up in Bamboo Studio. Now in Bamboo Studio, I'd recommend selecting this second plate here and then just go ahead and select the filament colors that you have loaded up in your AMS that you'd like to calibrate. And then the only thing here you need to change is go up to the filament section and click on flushing volumes. And here for this model specifically, you will need to set the flushing volumes to zero for both to and from the colors that you have selected. And these settings are just for this calibration model. We'll be changing these later on after we print this off. Okay, so now that you've set the flushing volumes to zero, go ahead and slice and print off this plate on your bamboo printer. Once it's done, you want to closely inspect the colors of this print. Now, as you can see on the left here, I have a transition from black to red. And on the right, I have a transition from red to black. And here you wanna look and see at what value does the color completely transition from the one color to the other. So go over to your Bamboo Studio once again and click on flushing volumes. And then in this top table, enter the new values that you have just determined. In my case, going from red to black, it looks like this fully transitioned around the 125 mark, but I would recommend adding a little bit of a buffer here. So I'm gonna use 150 just to be on the safe side. And to go from black to red, it looks like mine was fully transitioned around the 150 mark. And once again, I'm going to add just a little bit of a buffer to be safe, and I'm going to use 175 here. Okay, so now to demonstrate how much of a difference this is going to make, I'm going to use this multicolor dragon, and this is completed by Cinderwing 3D. And I'm just gonna select the first print profile here, and I'm just going to select this to the two colors that I have just calibrated. And as you can see, when I go over to the flushing volumes here, it's using these default values. Okay. So on the right, you can see this print is going to take just under 24 hours to print, and it is going to flush around 113 grams of filament. This is just over half of the filament that's actually being printed for the model itself. So over 50% waste here. So heading back into flush volumes, let's enter the new values that I have determined. Again, I'm going to use 150 and 175 and keeping the print multiple at one. I'm gonna click okay and re-slice this model and we'll see the difference. Okay, so now you can see the print time here is now under 22 hours. So I actually saved about two hours of print time with this complex model here. And then now my flushed filament value is now down to about 55 grams. So I've actually cut my wasted purge material by over half of what it used to be. This is a great improvement. And as I said, I'm going to give you a bonus tip to reduce this even further. So I'm gonna go back into my Bamboo Lab settings, going over to the other tab here, and I'm going to check this option that says flush into objects infill. What this is going to do is it's going to actually do the purges inside the infill of the model. And by doing this, it will actually save even more material. And you can see now I'm down to 42 grams of wasted flush purge material. And that's it. If you like this video, be sure to click on this video next and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.